Well, I must tell you that at our environment here, this video is about how to edit your video with Windows Movie Maker and Audacity. Audacity is open now. I'm going to try to open it first in Windows Live Movie Maker and then open up a Windows Movie Maker project because there's two different things that have to be done. So we get an error message and says we need to try to import raw. So we go to import raw data. Select the Windows Live Movie Maker project file. Open. And we get this import raw data window. So select import. And the audio file is imported. With Windows Movie Maker, you have to download FFmpeg plugin, Windows Movie Maker to see the file. So we go to the download page at the Audacity website and go down to optional downloads, plugins and libraries, and we see FFmpeg import slash export library. So we down click on that and we're brought to a window for the for Windows and Mac versions. So in this case, I'm going to download the Windows version. And now after that's downloaded and installed, I'm going to go to import audio in Audacity. And now that file is brought in to Audacity, ready to be edited. First, I'm going to select a portion of the track that I want to eliminate uh, some noise from. And we'll go to Effect, down to Noise Removal. And the Noise Removal window will open up. So I'll click on Preview first to hear how it sounds with the current settings. If those settings aren't good enough, then I will change uh, all or one or two or three or four, you know, whatever I need to do in the noise reduction, sensitivity, frequency, smooth, and an attack decay time um, to get the sound uh, that I want removed. When you select the area of sound that you want to reduce the noise, click play to be sure that's a good sample of where the noise is that you want to eliminate. And then once I'm happy with that within the preview, then I will click OK. And if you look at the selection bar, or that's gray that I previously selected, you will see that that noise will be removed. And there it is, and it's just that simple to do it. Okay, now select a sample of about five seconds of background noise with no voiceover. Then go to noise removal and select get noise profile. Click OK. Then select the entire audio track, open noise removal window again, and preview it to see how well the sound was filtered out and make adjustments as needed. Click OK. And now we see how the background noise has been reduced before and after. OK, that's it for today. Be sure to come back next week. And in the meantime, like share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Remember, just create.